Have you ever thought if there is any other way to paint a power sword without seven paints, four hours, three different brushes, and the sacrifice of a virgin Himalayan alpaca? Well guys, here's MC the Mincha Surgeon, and today I'm going to show you how to do just that with three paints and 13 minutes of your time. Welcome to part two of our contrast paint series. For this example, I'm going to use a sentinel blade from my custodian guard squad. First step is of course to undercoat your power sword. I use gray sear paint since it's the perfect platform to apply your contrast paints. Now we're going to split the blade up into 5 parts, into the top 80%, 60%, 40%, and 20% to help us guide where to put our contrast paints. Now to create our contrast paint mixture, we're going to take 4 brushfuls of contrast medium and deposit that onto our palette. Once that is done, rinse your brush dry before getting one brush full of Talisar Blue Contrast Paint. Now make sure your brush is dry otherwise it may contain extra water that may dilute your contrast paint. Personally I like to add the new color onto one side and mix it to the wars the other side until the whole mixture is homogeneous color. Top tip, to avoid screwing up and having a sloppy paint job, drag your brush along the palette until you get a fine point and the brush is as dry as possible. With our mixture of Talisar Blue, we're going to layer over one side of the blade to cover the top 80% of the blade. Make sure the paint is in thin lines parallel to the edge of the blade to get a good energy effect. Make sure you end your strokes towards the darker side of the blade to prevent the paint from pooling and forming dark dots that ruin your paint job. Now we're going to repeat the same process but keeping to 60% of the blade on either side. A very thin layer should do the trick. Now once again if you see streaks where they shouldn't be, just use your brush to move the excess paint towards the tip. While you're at it, don't forget to pick out the central ridge of the blade. Enjoying this video so far? Well, we got plenty more where that came from, so go ahead and subscribe for more insider tips. Now with the same mixture, we're going to repeat the same process, but focusing at the 40% part of the blade. One last time with the Talisar Blue mixture, we're going to do the exact same but for the last 20%. Now we're going to work on the lighter side of the blade. With Ulthon Grey mix 1 to 4 with Lamy Medium, we're going to glaze over the 40% of the brightest part of the blade. Now take care to use very thin brush strokes, especially when you approach the cross section between the blue and the grey sear. And just like we did with the Talisar Blue mixture, we're going to focus on the last 20% of the blade. Now this step is completely optional, but if you want your blade to have a little bit more contrast, use a mixture of Ultramarine Blue mixed 1-3 to with Contrast Medium and glaze over the darkest 20% of the blade. Now to put some finishing touches. Use Ultron Grey alone and a small brush to edge highlight the entirety of the blade. Guys, as a surgeon, people always ask me how to best use your body mechanics to do such fine motions, whether it be doing surgery or edge highlighting. So I made a video sharing five tips on just how I do it. Link popping up on your screen right now. With white scar, highlight the very sharpest edges on the blade. The final touch that's completely optional, give the blade an art coat finish to give us some sheen. And there you have it, our power sword effect completed in less than 13 minutes. This technique relies on a unique pigmentation and consistency of contrast paints and is a great trick to have in your speed painting arsenal. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification icon, and let me know in the comments section, power swords or chain swords. Guys, this is MC the Miniature Surgeon, Signing out.